In the early 1970s, when birthing better families were developing the birthing better skills, there were three types of births. 95% of us labored and had a vaginal birth. Some of us labored and had an emergency cesarean. And those of us who had had a cesarean were having a classical cesarean. We were cut from our pubic bone to our navel. And therefore, it was not really safe to have a VBAC, although birthing better families did have VBACs with classical cesareans. But if you'd had a cesarean, it was always a cesarean. So recap, labor vaginal birth, labor cesarean, non-laboring cesarean. Three types of births. Women who had cesareans back in the 1970s were given a general anesthetic. So they could not use skills. So the only time that we could use skills was when we labored and had a vaginal birth in the 1970s. By the 1980s, as the cesarean rate tripled due to societal changes, birth control, reduction of the size of the family, safe abortions, women in the workplace, wanting to be awake during a cesarean, wanting our partners to be with us, having a better opportunity to try for vaginal birth after a cesarean, and therefore the types of births changed. We could labor and have a vaginal birth. We could labor and have an unplanned cesarean. We could have a planned cesarean for whatever reason. We could try for a VBAC, a vaginal birth after cesarean, and labor and have a vaginal birth. Or we could try for vaginal birth after cesarean, labor, and end up with another cesarean. And because we were awake, that meant we could use skills if we had a surgical birth. So birthing better families, always pragmatic, and never dogmatic. We just developed skills for all births because we knew one is that the birth of our baby is the most important thing we're going to do. And two is 100% of pregnant women are going to give birth one way or another, no matter the circumstances, no matter where we birth or who is present or our beliefs or what happens to or around us. Birth is an activity that we are mandated to do just because we're pregnant. And so as we developed the skills, a great range of skills that had a depth to them so that they could be adaptable, adjustable, and sustainable, we applied all of our birthing better skills to the type of birth that unfolded for us. There is a global childbirth concept that has always existed and always will exist. And that is simple. You never know what your birth is going to be like. That was followed by, therefore, there's really nothing you can do to prepare for it. In the early 70s, three obstetricians, Lamaze, Bradley, and Grantley DeGreed, were saying, for low-risk women, you can prepare for it. You can learn some skills, breathing and relaxation, use those skills. And using those skills for low-risk women can result in a natural birth, pain-free labor without medical care. Nobody identified those things very clearly. What does natural mean? Does it mean it's good? Or does it mean if something bad happens, it could happen? What does physiological birth mean? It's spontaneous. Can you still bleed too much or have a dead baby that delivers quite quickly? Yes, you can. So those words, normal, natural, and physiological, can be interpreted to mean easy peasy, nothing to it, good outcome, or it can mean anything that might happen could happen. So we don't always know what kind of birth or the type of birth that we're going to have. Is it just whether we labor and have a vaginal birth, or is it that it's short, or that it's very, very long, or that we feel very little, or it's so excruciatingly painful that we think we're going to die? What does it mean to have a type of birth? And what Birthing Better Families decided was it didn't matter what it meant because 100% of pregnant women are going to give birth. And since you never know what your birth's going to be like, some of us could plan and say, okay, I'm, I'm going with this obstetrician or I want to have a midwife and a home birth, whatever, plan all you want. But on that day, it's going to unfold. And when we had skills, we birthed better, no matter the type of birth. Once we could be awake in the surgery of birth, we continued to use the skills. And most birthing better families who knew they were going to have a non-laboring cesarean loved learning the skills in pregnancy anyway. And they worked together more closely as a family. So the type of birth 
is real. We have various types of birth, but one thing is constant and universal. 100% of pregnant women are going to do the activity of birthing their baby. And so regardless of the type of birth that unfolds for you, you have to do the activity of birthing your baby. Not every person who plans to go to the hospital makes it to the hospital. Not every person who plans a home birth or a birth center birth ends up there. So we know the type of birth is quite a broad statement. However, we know that giving birth is identifying the activity that we are mandated to do. And because the birth of our baby is important to us, then be like birthing better families. Commit to learning skills and using skills to work together to work through the activity of birthing your baby. Whether you have choices, whether you lack choices, whether your choices change, whether your choices unfolded in ways that were unexpected, it doesn't matter. You're doing the activity. So now we have to grow a self-learning skilled birthing population and encourage everybody to become skilled and to use skills to work through the activity of birthing their baby.